Okay, so I have these two. I got this rubber beaker that came in a whole set of them. And I pretty much just wanted this one because I think it's awesome. I was gonna try and mix it in. And I got this really cheap mixer. I only intend on using one of these. Let's set this aside. But the lowest speed is like pretty fast. It's got a whole eject button. Look at that. Anyways, this was super cheap. I didn't want to mix by hand because you only have seven minutes. So I'm going to weigh up my powder. I think I'm going to weigh my powder in this thing. And then measure up my water in my little beaker I've got. And then I got this, which I can also use to measure water in, but I'm going to use this as a scoop for my powder. And the powder So I got like a 30 pound bag of it. It's a big bag. I also got this thing. I don't know if it's all gonna fit in here, but I have a zip tie to reclose it if it doesn't fit. And I was hoping to keep it in here. And this thing is actually pretty cool because it has like a little pore thingy. I'm not gonna use it right out. But I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know how airtight this is. I might have to order a better one. So if the investment gets destroyed or anything, it's still soft, which is good. We'll see. If it gets destroyed, we'll get a new container. So I'm going to get suited up. We're going to get ready. I'm going to figure out my measurements and then we'll get cooking. Okay, so I have all the math done. And I found the equations you need in order to do all the measurements. And you take the volume of the flask, which is 463 cubic, or centimeters, cubic centimeters, and then multiply that by 1.2 grams, and then divide that by 1,000 to get how many kilograms of powder, but I don't need kilograms, I need grams. So I'm not gonna divide by a thousand. And then it gets, gives me 555.6 grams of powder. And then in order to get how much water you need, you take the volume, which is 463 cubic centimeters, and then multiply that by 0.494 milliliters, which gives me 228.7 milliliters. So I'm going to measure all this out, weigh my powder, get the water measured up, and I'm using distilled water at outdoor temperature, room temperature, but 228.7, so we'll get it 229-ish milliliters. Yeah. Now, got a little B12 
weaker. And we'll, uh, we'll use a bigger beaker to fill the little beaker. Measured out 200 in the larger beaker. That was way too much. By about two milliliters. Ooh. Oh ho ho. That's 29.5. Oh, we need 28.7. It's 20, 28.9-ish. Oh, that's way too much. That's 28. Point five. We'll do twenty nine. Oh, that's thirty. Thirty one. The struggle is real. That's thirty. Twenty nine. Two twenty nine is what we're going with. Since I am using some powder that I do not like to inhale, or do not want to inhale, I'm gonna get all geared up.
so it just happened that my SD card ran out of storage. Somehow, I have no idea, I need to get a bigger one. Or just have a dual in there, I don't, I don't know why I only keep one in my camera when I can have two. Anyways, I finished getting it all, you know, vacuumed, and got all the bubbles out. I got it sitting over here all finished. I was able to get everything cleaned up, and it, from what I've seen and what i played with, it all worked flawlessly. But one thing I noticed is when I was using my vacuum pump, this thing got all the way, it maxed the gauge right out. Some people online say, I don't know if they're right, but they say that you should turn your vacuum pump off and let it sit under a vacuum. But what I realized is when I turned the pump off, it stopped sucking the air out of the investment, which I feel like you want to keep getting as much of the air out of it as possible. So I left the vacuum running and just kept going until it was done boiling inside of the beaker. And then I poured it, you know, into that, which you saw. And then, and then I boiled it under a vacuum. And then after that calmed down, and it's, I noticed that it started getting thicker and started splashing on the top of the dome a little bit more. Then I chilled out and turned off the vacuum and let it sit. So I'm not really sure. My vacuum pump, because it maxed the thing out, I, I think this vacuum pump is a little bit more powerful than what I need. So that thing was smoking. Like out of the, the exhaust or the whatever it's called, it's got a little filter. That thing was pumping out some smoke. I do have oil in it, so it was, you know, it's all set up. It's brand new, doing everything that it should. I don't know if that's normal, but if it doesn't last long, I'll get another one. I don't know if I should get a stronger one or just buy the same one. They're kind of cheap. I think it was only like 50 bucks. But other than that, you know, I'm gonna try and get everything going tomorrow. It's gonna be tough. I don't know if I can melt metal and have my burnout oven running on the same breaker. I might have to run an extension cord from the other side of the shop, figure out what's on another breaker. So, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Everything worked, you know, exactly like it should. I had a little bit of investment left over in, in the uh, beaker. So, you know, I didn't need all of it. I mean, it set up pretty quick already. I'm going to clean that up tomorrow and then burn it out and cast it. I got a 13-hour burnout cycle programmed into my oven. And then during that, while that's going, I'm going to do the preheat cycle on the flat, or on the, uh, the crucible. Because I guess in order to, you have to, like, run it through a heat cycle in order to start melting metal. And then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna melt it at, I think 1900 something. 1980 I think is what people suggested. I'm just trying to remember, I'm not really sure. But I'm, I'm pretty confident that's gonna run good. I do have a, uh, one of these guys, a little voltage meter because I wanted to see how much power this thing actually pulls. So this will tell me my amps and wattage, because I'm really curious. I think it actually says maximum melting temperature of 1250C. It's pretty hot. So, if you guys enjoyed the content, you know, or learned something, hit the like and subscribe. Um, I'm having a blast, and I cannot wait to get this thing casted. So. Thank you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.